Hello everyone, I am Vaishnavi V, studying in grade 11 of National Public School, Kengeri, Bangalore. How many of you here have heard Earth being referred to as the Blue Planet? With that name comes the rightful image of a world with plentiful water. However, of all the water on Earth, more than 96% is unusable by humans. Only 3% of the fresh water is found on the surface. According to the US Geological Survey, most of that 3% is inaccessible. Over 68% is found in glaciers and ice caps, and 30% is found in groundwater. Just 1.2% of the fresh water is found on the surface water of lakes, rivers, and swamps. I would like to quote that water is the driving force of all nature, and it seems inconceivable that water that supports all the terrestrial as well as aquatic life on our planet is actually so scarce. With this startling realization comes a recognition that we must use this resource very wisely. An important first step is to educate ourselves and the future generation of citizens. We can make better consumer, voter, and community member choices when we are mindful of the use of this resource, the consequences of misuse, solutions and actions to prevent fresh water crisis. As the saying goes, when the wells dry up, we know the worth of water. We may not be experiencing it in our own daily routines, but Earth is experiencing a fresh water crisis. When water shortages spread, we can feel its impact. For example, food prices and food supplies may change based on the availability of water, and other impacts might affect our economic stability, our cost of energy, and so on. We know that water scarcity and water qualities are problems and that scientists, entrepreneurs, and everyday citizens are in the midst of finding the solutions to alleviate these problems. Understanding the impact of the core issue and the reckless use of water by humans are only the initial steps. India has 17% of the world's population, but only 4% of the world's accessible fresh water. Yeah, that's right, 17% of the population is to 4% of fresh water. India experiences an average precipitation of 4,000 cubic kilometers of rain annually. Despite extensive river systems, safe, clean drinking water and irrigated water for sustainable agriculture are in shortage across India. In a part because India harnessed a small fraction of its accessible and recoverable fresh water. India harnessed 761 cubic kilometers of its fresh water in 2010, part of which came from unsustainable use of groundwater. Of the water it harnessed, India dedicated 688 cubic kilometers for agriculture, 56 cubic kilometers to municipal and drinking water applications, and 17% for industries. Though the overall water resources are adequate to meet all the requirements of the country, the water gaps due to spatial and temporal distribution of the water resources needs to be bridged by the interlinking of the rivers of India. What are the effective solutions to handle the agricultural water problems? It is modernization and development of multi-purpose and climate-proofing irrigation infrastructure. This is an important action area which can improve the efficiency of water use in agriculture while adapting to climate change impacts. This can reduce the demand for water in the agricultural sector, which is an effective strategy to conserve water. Rainwater harvesting is an increasingly popular innovation. Rainwater harvesting is also a cost-efficient system that the general public may find interesting. Wastewater treatment is an innovation that keeps on evolving with the advent of new technology. Reclaimed water is also sometimes known as recycled water, and it is the output of tertiary-treated sewage water. After physically removing the solids and disinfecting much of the bacteria and reducing the contaminants, recycled water can be used for sustainable landscape agriculture or to rejuvenate the groundwater aquifers. The demand for water has been increasing and it is expected to increase further, while our resources and supply for water has been decreasing. When communities experience higher demand for lesser supply of water, they experience water stress. Water stress happens when the demand does not meet the supply or when other factors are not sufficient enough for a healthy ecosystem. What can we as individuals and families do to conserve water in our homes? First is to reduce the direct use of water. When ready to upgrade your bathroom, install low flow shower heads faucets and toilets. Did you know that a low-flow faucet saves about 68 liters of water in just a 10-minute shower? 
Also, when ready to upgrade, consider a front load washing machine that uses about half the water of a top loader. You can also reduce your hidden water footprint by paying attention to three more habits, namely food choices, energy choices, and other products you buy. Reducing the consumption of meat and dairy products can also save water, and choosing grass-fed products over grain-fed products. Reducing the consumption of energies at homes and fuels for vehicles can also save water, as it takes 59 liters of water to make 4.5 liters of gasoline. Yeah, you heard it right. 59 liters of water to make just 4.5 liters of gasoline. Reducing the number of products you buy can also save water. As, for example, it takes 2,900 liters of water to make one single pair of jeans. Yeah, I was shocked when I found out too. Rethink the purchase or if you can manage without it. In addition, homes and business can install rain gardens and groundwater infiltration. When cities develop green spaces, parks, grounds, and stadiums for sports, installing an effective irrigation system may require a substantial investment but can be financially rewarding over time. Community cleanups can be organized to reduce the amount of debris entering our storm drain system, which eventually makes its way into our freshwater and marine ecosystems. Finally, the government needs to run televised campaigns explaining the severity of water scarcity. All in all, we must identify water scarcity as a real issue as it is very dangerous. Further after identifying it, we must make sure to take actions to conserve it. There are many things we can do on a national as well as an individual level. So we must come together now and conserve fresh water. I am Vaishnavi V, studying in grade 11 of National Public School, Kengeri, Bangalore, and thank you for your time.